for starting. If you could talk about our athlete of the week, um, an impressive eight minute span or so of three goals that came off this guy's foot behind me. So sure. talk about that uh, performance. Yeah, well, uh, n no surprise. If there's anyone uh, that could do it, you know, it would be Ethan. He scored, you know, well over 20 goals even before that. Um, I think that those seven and a half minutes of, uh, you know, play really just solidified what we already know about him. You know, that he's an exceptional player. He's, a, it, you know, always puts the team first and will do what the team needs. Mm -hmm. And in that particular situation, it, it was him scoring all three goals. Um, but it was it was so the team would win, and, mm -hmm. and that's what he wanted. He wanted the season to go on. Uh, he wanted to have practice on Monday, and uh, so that's took matters into his own hands. But it was it was outstanding. I've seen very few things like that. Of course, you coach. It's of course a, a team game here. So talk about your team. Just leading up to this point, you guys have another playoff game uh, coming up tomorrow. Um, so just talk about the team in general yeah. this year. Yeah, sure. I mean, it's been an absolute pleasure coaching this group. Many have been with us, with me, for the last three, three to four years. Um, you know, Ethan has, has scored the most goals of any of any boys soccer player in all of Livingston County, any of the three divisions. Um, but I think he'd be the first to tell you it's not. He hasn't done that alone. He's done that because there's just uh, so many. We, we have we have a lot of weapons, and you can see that from the fact that we've scored over 70 goals. Uh, and even just our regular season. Um, and, and sometimes, uh, you know, Ethan is able to be the one who's finishing, but there's a number of other guys have been scoring uh, high numbers of goals as well, so it's hard to defend us. Um, so him playing well benefits the other players, and them playing well benefits him. Uh, and together it's been great to see us come together because uh, we have a lot of guys who play for a lot of different clubs. So mm -hmm. it's great to see us all kind of, kind of I think we're playing our best soccer. start with that so I'll let you just take it away and go through that whole eight minutes yeah. uh, stretch and uh, everything for me. I'm just extremely proud of how our team and not one not one player quit on our team I'm really really proud of that. Um, the first goal um, this first we played well at the right side um, Kieran over to Ethan over to me um, I drew a pass to and I just I just kept thinking saw the home on the right side we just need one goal to get back in the game and literally seconds afterwards, after the kickoff, um, we played a long ball to Caleb. He came in, and we ended up getting a penalty kick, mm -hmm. and that was really fortunate. Um, I put him in the left-hand corner, uh, like a ton, ton of times I practiced that. Mm -hmm. And lastly, uh, the last goal, the third goal, with I think 43 seconds left, um, Tommy, uh, he threw it in, um, kind of win the box, ball came around, and I just put him in the bottom corner. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, that, that's how the game went. Now, Ethan, you gave me a smile there, but if you can give me a little bit more um, elaboration on uh, how you felt after that, because, I mean, eight, excuse me, three goals in eight minutes is pretty un unbelievable, let alone if it's someone else on the team, but you did it yourself. So how did that feel? Just all of a sudden you're trailing, you might lose, and now you're winning, you can win. Yeah, it felt absolutely amazing. I just feel like it's like a culmination of all the training and practice I've had before, and that kind of um, proceeded to that. And it felt amazing. I just sprinted over to the fans, and you know, I just took my shirt off, and just <laughs> it was amazing. I I really didn't think it would happen, and but it ended up doing you know, very well. And uh, from what I read, a uh, little bit of a windy day that day in that game. Uh, yeah, can definitely. you just talk, talk about that, uh, how that played into the game? Mm -hmm. I didn't play soccer or myself, but I played tennis. And I know that, mm -hmm. that it can be yeah, really difficult. Yeah, it was definitely a big factor. In the first half, they had the wind. Um, it was useful to them. I still think we had more chances during the game. Um, definitely, we had more chances. Uh, the game, it would not have been that close if we put a few of those away, but still, um, we came away with a win. Um, the win was definitely a factor, though. And finally, Ethan, if you could just talk about your team, I asked uh, your coach as well. You guys, impressive season all year, really. Um, I've been sending out your scores and stuff. So just talk about your teammates uh, leading up to uh, tomorrow's next round. Absolutely amazing. My teammates are the best people I've ever met. Um, Nick, his ball's over the top. He'll play um, 
balls over the defense, through the defense, um, connecting passes, it's amazing. Nick Richardson, Ethan Safeli, um, another great connecting player, our attacking midfielder, um, and Caleb Safeli, his brother, just amazing kids to play with, to work with, um, and I really just love them to death. Mm -hmm.